Hello, and for tonight's rambling discussion, I have been thinking about mysteries. Now, uh, I took advantage, or fell victim to, the Steam Summer Sale, depending on your point of view as to how that plays out, and they had uh, The Wolf Among Us on the sale. And uh, I'd been meaning to pick that up for a while, and it was on sale, so why not, right? So I picked that up, and I started playing it. And uh, I like, first off, I like Fables. Fables is very well done. Uh, I was a little disappointed that uh, Once Upon a Time came out and was not Fables. Um, that's not to say that it's a bad show. I actually kind of enjoy the show, too, but it's not Fables. Fables is an entirely different critter, and I really rather enjoyed it. So, you know, they had this game based off of it. It's a prequel to the comics, which, uh, you know, I, I was interested. And it focuses on Big B Wolf, and therefore is a vehicle for telling mysteries. And one of the things I liked about the first chapter, at least, I haven't played through the whole thing yet, just the first chapter, uh, was that it it gave me a sense of trying to figure out a mystery. And I appreciated that. Um, it Because it allows you to make choices, and um, because it allows you to choose how to handle your interactions with people, including suspects, and it feeds you the information slowly, it feels like you're figuring it out. It feels like you're uh, trying to solve a mystery. And that's really appealing. That is, you know, the right kind of approach for doing a mystery. Now, I don't know if it keeps that up yet. Uh, you know, the later chapters may fall apart on that. I don't know. But the first chapter, I was like, okay, yeah. I, I really like this kind of gameplay, um, or, or rather, this kind of game narrative. Um, the gameplay itself is a little awkward at times, but the, the intersection of choice and interaction with the mystery that they're trying to tell makes it much more interesting to me. Uh, and... And this, this sort of returns to one of my favorite things in gaming. I love crime in gaming. I love espionage in gaming. I like deep, intricate plots and so forth because I'm a masochist, I guess. Um, and, very, you know, one of my big problems with that is I can know what's going on on some of the plots I'm running and it'll be, you know, ten layers deep. And I'll think, yeah, this is clever, and people will feel awesome when they figure it out. And then people are like, I have no idea what you're doing. Or they just don't care. And that that's so disappointing. <laughs> you, you, you sort of go, oh, oh okay. <laughs> and and you know, you're not as clever or as cool as you think you are. But running a uh, a mystery is interesting. There's a school of thought that says that you should uh, do it in a more sort of narrative style where uh, you determine, you know, the, the whodunit elements, uh, you know, in course of play rather than the players figure it out. It's more of a the player, the, the interaction leads to, oh, this is who did it. As opposed to, there was a, a, an absolute truth, this is what happened, and the players have to figure it out. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, this is not to say it can't be fun. I'm, I'm sure it probably is fun. But I don't enjoy that particular um, interaction, uh, or at least the thought of it anyway. Because part of the joy of a mystery is for, you know, the reader, the watcher, the player to actually figure it out. Uh, and it, it feels like while 
you know, coming up with the story of how it happened and who did it and all that can be compelling on a creative level. It is not figuring out who did it. It's sort of, it's a distinction that I think is important. Um, I am not about to tell somebody that, that, that the other way is the wrong way to do it. It's just not the way I would want to do it. Uh, there have been a few games done with mystery being one of the key factors involved. Um, of course, Call of Cthulhu, sort of. It's got, you know, the, the, the heroes are investigators, and, uh, you know, any kind of supernatural game where you're playing a human trying to figure out what's going on in the supernatural will do that. Um, and some systems do it better than others. I like Gumshoe, uh, which is the heart behind, uh, Trail of Cthulhu and, um, um, Mutant City Blues. I've got a copy of Mutant City Blues lying around, uh, where they decided that the important thing they wanted out of the game was the mystery involved and trying to figure out how to make the mystery compelling. So, what they did was, uh, you can't really fail at investigation roles. You can do better at them, but you can't really fail at them. You will always find out the information, the basic information that you need to know to figure out what's going on. There are things you can fail at, like punching someone or something like that, but the investigation stuff, that is always going to work. And I like that, um... It takes the pressure off of the die roll. You know, you don't want to end up in a situation where the only way you can go forward is if the player succeeds at a skill check and they absolutely fail at the skill check. That, that's lame, honestly. Um, that, that, that's not fun. Uh, you've got to have multiple ways for the, the story to go forward. Uh, and that uh, particular method uh, allows for that. Of, of, you know, okay, investigation stuff always goes forward. You know, they might fail at the, con you know, conflict resolution, but when it comes to investigation, they always can manage to figure it out. Uh, because they're smart and clever, and it's about figuring out the, 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 the uh, mysteries. But then you have to, like, come up with... The mystery and what clues lead to, uh, you know, what revelations uh, over time. It's not an easy thing to, to pull off correctly. Uh, you, you've got to get the pacing right. And there's the, the Seven problem. Uh, if you've ever seen Seven, there's this great bit uh, where Morgan Freeman is talking to... Uh, Brad Pitt's character, and he says, you know, if we catch up to this guy, and he is, in fact, the devil himself, then, and only then, will he live up to our expectations. Or something to that equivalent. And, uh, and that's sort of a problem when you're building up a villain, or building up a mystery. When you resolve the mystery, if you're building, or you sh reveal the villain, and he doesn't measure up to your build-up, He's disappointing. And disappointing is worse than bad. Disappointment is always worse than bad. You know, it's it, I, I used to watch Lost. And I loved Lost. Up until the last few episodes. When it completely fell apart. They kept building and building and building. And, and then they reached the last season. And there was no way in hell they could actually equal up to what they were building to. And it was a disappointment. The mystery wasn't compelling. It wasn't solved in a lot of ways. And the answers they gave wasn't helpful. So you always have to be wary that you're not building up so much and making the mystery so complex and so ornate and so filled with revelation that when you finally reveal what's going on, people go, oh, Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. 
So, you know, that's something to think about. Um, anyway, I, I was, I felt like rambling about doing mysteries in games. Uh, and, you know, to a certain extent, mysteries in life are, are interesting too. I, I enjoy the, uh, reading about the mysterious things that, uh, are out in the world that we don't have explanations for. Um, or, you know, the, whatever happened to D.B. Cooper, uh, the, uh, um, you know, murder mysteries and, uh, historical mysteries of, you know, what happened to this ship, where'd this civilization go, things like that. And I don't like the, the, the cheap answer. You know, I don't like the, well, aliens did it, or, you know, it was this vast conspiracy, and, yeah, no, I like them because it's f somehow reassuring to me that there are things we just don't know, the things that there are still to find out, things that we may never know. I find that to be interesting, um, that, that we could be in a world where we just don't know what's going on. Um, that sometimes bad, you know, bad things or strange things happen and we don't necessarily have to have an explanation. Uh, the explanation makes us feel better, but sometimes I, I am reassured that we don't have an explanation. That we don't really know the answer yet. Um, not because I, you know, I'm a big religious guy who thinks, well, it's God, but because I, I think that having things that we don't have answers for compels us. Uh, it, it's much more compelling to, to have things that are still mysteries than to, to think for us even an instant that we have all the answers. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, tell me if you've had any good mystery stories in a game. That'd be cool. Um, it, you know, or, you know, if you've had some bad ones and you're like, wow, that, that was a stinker. Um, uh, anyway, uh, I'll talk to you later. Uh, subscribe, like, share with all the peoples and the socials and the stuff. And have a good night.